The Philippines is well positioned today for sustained economic expansion. Its key growth drivers are stable and its population of over 100 million Filipinos provide a young, competent workforce and a burgeoning consumer market. The Manila metropolis has reached its peak. The growth of its population has far outpaced its infrastructure's carrying capacity. Just 70 kilometers away from Manila is the next economic powerhouse of the Philippines, Pampanga. This province will be the strongest counter-magnet of Metro Manila in the near future. One can access opportunities found in Metro Manila without having to live in a congested environment. The Pampanga Megalopolis Plan is a strategic framework that aims to optimize the use of the province's key resources. 218,000 hectares of land and its 2.6 million people. An extensive circumferential road that will connect the key urban centers and outlying towns will commence this year reducing travel time substantially. Likewise, the Clark International Airport, the 4,500-hectare Clark Freeport Zone, and the 9,000-hectare New Clark City are rapidly expanding. The Megalopolis Plan calls for contiguous geographical areas with complementing characteristics to focus on their respective comparative advantage. Pampanga does not aim to be another Mega Manila, its strategy is to disperse economic opportunities, not leaving any of its barangays or communities behind. Its development agenda will always be strategic, inclusive, and sustainable. The fulcrum of the megalopolis is the Central Triangle. It's bounded by Angeles City, where the Clark Freeport Zone is located. The city of San Fernando, which is the administrative capital of the central Luzon region and Lubao, the westernmost town closest to the Subic International Seaport. Industrial parks, live work play communities, educational institutions, theme parks, recreation and entertainment establishments, hotels, commercial areas and technology companies would likely gravitate towards Pampanga's Triangle. Radiating around the central triangle are four opportunity zones, the Oropolis, Agropolis, Ecopolis, and the Equopolis. The Oropolis are the twin cities of Angeles and Mabalacat, where the Clark International Airport is located. This will be a logistics hub to ship high-value goods to international markets and host the companies servicing airlines undertaking aircraft maintenance and repairs. The Oropolis will also be ideal for convention facilities and recreation because of its convenient access to the airport. The Ecopolis would take root in two areas of the province, the western portion of Pampanga where terrain is elevated and the eastern portion with Mount Araya as the anchor destination of this tourism circuit. Investments in outdoor sports and adventure facilities, conference centers, artists and craft villages, and boutique hotels shall be encouraged. The Aquapolis is the wetlands of Pampanga, located at the southern portion of the province along Pampanga River closest to Manila Bay. This area produces shrimps, fish and other seafood products, but seeks to diversify into tourism and processing. The Agropolis concept is intended for the numerous farming communities throughout Pampanga. Today, 60% of Pampanga's land area is classified as agricultural, mainly in rice, sugarcane, corn and poultry. The potential for growth lies in its ability to diversify the high-value crops, adoption of higher-level food technology and farm tourism. Pampanga in the future will be 22 smart and sustainable cities, a sprawling chain of urban centers punctuated by wide open, green areas for its people to enjoy. The good quality of life in Pampanga is palpable. Fresh air, clean waterways, great cuisine and peaceful communities that make it an ideal place to raise a family. Pampanga aims to move forward, unafraid of a volatile, uncertain and complex world order. It is determined to seize its share of opportunities, openly welcoming investors who share its values and aspirations. Let us shape our future together. Invest in Pampanga. Invest Pampanga.